Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am doing a Target shop with me. Yes, another shop with me. Um, but oh my goodness, all the stores have been getting so much good stuff in. I recently uploaded a Walmart one and also an Ulta one. But Target really was like the jackpot. I feel like Walmart was great too, but Target has some really good finds, especially in like the hygiene area. So I wanted to go ahead and share what they had they just added a bunch of new things and some stuff even just came out today in stores and these things should be online as well so let's go ahead and get started this is where we are again of course it's target and they have even more new stuff they have a brand new strawberry tree hut scrub so i'm really surprised that my target had it out already and they have a ton of other ones as well restocked but this is the newest one that they have so really excited to try this I'm wondering how it's gonna smell super curious to try that they only have two but I'm just gonna get one for now because I know they're gonna restock it they do have some more body butters as well um, I've tried their whipped one and it's okay I have the watermelon at home it's more I would say lightly scented and I do like the formula of them they do have it in the uh, rose this is the Moroccan rose they've had the watermelon before and also the vitamin C um, and then this cocoa colada I think is a new one as well for summer I have not tried this scent yet in the scrub or in the whipped body butter but super excited to find strawberry today I wasn't sure if we would see it until later on they also have brand new beloved which is really exciting i do like this line but there hasn't been a scent yet that really calls to me i feel like their scents are pretty light but they do have the strawberry and brown sugar which looks really good i might have to smell this one i think i don't know if that's supposed to be a tester it doesn't have a lid not sure um been wanting to try their whipped body scrubs as well and then they do also have the fragrance mist sometimes they have body butters too but i don't know if they have one yet and also the lotion is not here quite yet they also have the new pineapple and papaya i'm not big on pineapple in my fragrances so i'm probably going to pass on this one today but again they have the shower gel the scrub in the spray this one actually has the cream as well so i'm thinking the strawberry one will get that in i have heard good things about their coconut and vanilla scent so maybe i would pick up a scrub in that one just to try out they are 9.99 for all of their products and i think sometimes they run at different deals on them like buy two get one or something like that and down here they do have the candles in those as well and the strawberry and also the pineapple i have not tried their candles yet either and then over here we have some bath bombs too with the same scents the pineapple one's actually in the shape of a pineapple which is so stinking cute and then they have this green clay and eucalyptus. I think these they've always had the lavender and chamomile tea in the shape of a moon. Now these look really nice from June and Moon. This brand I know used to make these little sugar scrub cubes. I think they still have them actually over there and they're pretty good. I haven't tried their whipped ones, but these look really good. There is the cleanse and exfoliate white tea and aloe this coconut one and then a lavender so nothing like super sweet maybe the coconut would be the one that I most go for we'll see those are $9.99 they also have some bath soaks here too from the same brand they have the champagne and lavender here this is actually the sugar scrubs always like to see what they have for skincare I'm not super caught up on new releases here so I'm not really sure what's new it's so hard to keep up with skincare these days but this brand is new to me called fervor and they have really fun packaging they have a cleansing balm this is a cleansing milk sounds really good it's about 15 bucks 18 bucks for stuff a bunch of serums and some masks here an under eye cream and a night cream let me know if you guys have tried their stuff Pacifica also has new scents in their like moon collection I didn't know that these were new until people started posting them because they've had a couple of them before like I feel like this dream moon they've had before I think that's the one that smells like Ariana Grande cloud they also have the flower moon which I think has been out blue moon looks new silver looks new uh, they have a neon moon and then sunrise moon and you can test them all so it looks like Target like totally got a bunch of new perfumes in and redid that area this one smells so good I'm actually shocked but I thought it might because it has vanilla and almond which is two of my favorite notes it has a little bit of spice so it's a very warm scent kind of fall winter I really really like it 
I think I'm gonna grab it. I'm surprised. I really love that one. This one's also very good. If you guys like peach scents, I think you would really like this. I don't think it has the notes on this one, but it smells like peachy to me. This store finally has, after three videos of me filming this, they actually did get in the shower gels for Native from the Baked by Melissa collection. They just had the deodorants and the shampoo stuff last time, but they do have the shower gels here with the peach cupcake and the tie-dye vanilla one, which I did purchase and talked about in my last video. But I'm curious to try the peach one, possibly. I'm so stocked up on body wash, though. I don't know if I need it. This one smells like very true peach rings kind of a scent. One of my subscribers also told me to try this Hey Humans brand because they have a really good banana scent. So I think I'm going to pick that up. I know I just said I don't need body wash, but for banana, I will. She said this was the best true banana scent. It's the Hey Humans uh, Banana Aloe Body Wash. So definitely going to pick this up today. It's $5.99, so really good price. Never tried the brand. This feels like a metal kind of packaging here. Really excited. I hope it does smell like banana. It looks like they have lotions too, so maybe I should grab the matching lotion. You can see it has like little dents in it because it fell. Let me grab a good one. Oh, they all have dents. Okay, here's a near perfect bottle. <laughs> we'll grab that too to try. It looks like it's on sale for $4.19 as well. They also have a lavender and vanilla, a rose water ginger, and a coconut mint. Look what they put out, you guys. The whipped almond perfume, if I just waited. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna grab that as well. I have the little fragrance mist. I don't know, I might return that one because I don't really need both. Um, I do prefer the perfume and they do have the sparkling hibiscus, so looks like they set this up. The Good Chemistry brand, I've seen them before and I feel like their stuff got like a repackage. I don't remember them having the chemist like bottles. But I remember smelling the sugar berry scent and it smells like pink sugar by Aqualina. Really nice scents. I haven't tried many of the other ones though. Like Pink Palm, Magnolia Violet, Queen Bee, but I love their packaging. I think it's very cute. Tiger Lily and Cocoa Blush. I need to smell some of these, but definitely recommend the pink berry or the sugar berry one. <laughs> Went to another Target and look what I found. I'm actually really excited about this find. This is the new e.l.f. camo powder foundation. I was gonna order this online on e.l.f. because I ordered the cookies and cream stuff, but this was like literally sold out. So really excited to find it here in store. It's 11 bucks and I feel like everything e.l.f. comes out with always goes viral for a bit. So I think I will go ahead and pick this one up. Do they have a light neutral is what I want. Yes, I'm gonna try this shade light to 80 and but I do want to see I don't think they have it but I was looking for the brow gel but I'm pretty sure they're out of that because that also went viral as per usual this is actually my first time seeing this Maybelline concealer in store sorry my phone's a little shaky um the super stay I did try this out in a video I'm not like a super big fan of it it's more of a thin formula a little bit drying the reviews on Ulta are not so great either but I did want to share it's for $9.99 they have most of the shades in and the Maybelline Perfector, it looks like that one's already selling out. I did do my thoughts on that one, which I thought it was pretty good for oily skin, but it's more like a base, like a primer. Kind of like how their glow version is more like a glow primer. This is also new in Target stores, but a lot of the stores are getting in Sigma. So they had Sigma eyeshadow palettes. They also had a bunch of the brushes. I was really shocked to see this, but it's not every single store. So they do have it online. You can kind of see if your store has it in stock. But I was so surprised to see this. I really do enjoy their brushes, especially that F80 foundation brush. It's so good. So Target's definitely stepping up because we don't have the Ulta ones in my store. So this is so cool to see. Wanted to mention that Target also has the new Revlon stuff. I haven't seen this stuff anywhere. And this powder like mysteriously disappeared off of Ulta. I was like, what is going on? But they have this new matte collection that came out. I picked mine up at Ulta like in December. There's a matte primer, a gripping one for 16 hour wear, a 24 hour setting spray, and also a matte setting powder. So excited to try those. I still have to give mine a shot. I've been so backed up on reviews because I've ordered quite a bit of stuff to try from the drugstore. And yeah, Target is the first place I've seen it actually in stores. This concealer is also new from them too. The Skin Awaken Caffeine and Vitamin C. Another one I need to try out. They have so many shades and it's $9.99. Also, I don't know if they're just setting this up, but this is the first time I've seen Essence at Target. It's a little bit dark right now, 
I'll try to brighten it here on my settings. But they have these little mini palettes, which I've heard so, so much about. People love them. Um, they're only $3.99 too, and they have a bunch of different like color, monochromatic color schemes. There's a taupe the Ice Ice Baby Blue ones. You can find these in Ulta, but it's nice to see them here at Target as well. Essence is such a good brand. But it looks like they might be stocking more. I'm sure it's not all sold out, because I, I think this is new to Target this year. They stocked some of their glosses too. These remind me of Lancome. They have a clear gloss as well. And they're starting to put out some blushes. These are really good. They remind me a lot of the Buxom blushes that I love so much for $3.99. They also just set out the new CoverGirl skincare, which I've been talking about in many videos now. I featured it in the Walmart section and also in Ulta. So everyone's kind of getting their new skincare line as well. And also the tinted lip balms. Looking here in the Pacifica section at Target and it looks like some new stuff as well. So let me quickly go over these things. We have Kind Tint Tinted Serum. This looks really good. I like the packaging a lot. Um, they have this whole lip display. You get one ounce of product. It looks smaller than it is. There's not a lot of shades, but it is a tint, so keep that in mind. Um, it's $13.99, I think, for everything, I'm guessing. It says super light, breathable. I don't know if I would like it. I like a, like a medium coverage. There's a vegan collagen primer that looks really good. It's a blurring one. And they have a collagen hydrating setting mist as well, which looks nice. Now these have really piqued my interest here. How cute is this name? Fluffy Blushy? Oh my goodness, I love. And look at this color. I feel like I need this in my life. It's like a pinky gold sparkle kind of shade and they're like an air whipped blush. That sounds amazing. That one is Bloom. They just put these out. They have Pink Haze. This one looks like a deeper pink than it does on here. <laughs> it looks more magenta. And they also have Sunset. How pretty, that one's a nice peach but Let's see, this one is definitely calling my name. I want to pick this one up for sure. These are adorable. At this specific Target location, they do have well people. They sell this at like certain Targets. I always love checking out a few different ones. I have been seeing this brand at TJ Maxx lately though. They also have Mineral Fusion, another brand I've been seeing at TJ. I feel like they've been getting their stock from Target. Oh look, they also got this. I just showed this at Walmart too. The Butter Dream Team face palette and the Butter Eyeshadow. So they just put those out. Those are brand new. Cheaper at Walmart though. <laughs> $15.49 here. They also have these Diamond Metallics, which are like these chrome liquid shadows. I've never seen these in my life. <laughs> they don't say new though. This is a bronze. They also have a fun blue one. Those look really cute. And a Diamond Mascara that's clear. So it's a base, and then there's one that goes over top of it. Haven't seen those before either. They do have a new sticker, so maybe they actually are like brand new to Physicians Formula. I'm sorry this lighting is not great, but you can kind of see the shift it has. That's so pretty. Pretty sure this is a new Versed product. I remember hearing about it, and I was thinking that it looked really good. I do like their skincare. I actually used this cream today for my moisturizer. And this is their new Smooth Landing Advanced Retinoid Eye Balm. So it has the retinol in the formula, supposed to help with those fine lines. I love the packaging of that, super cute. $17.99, <sighs> I'm tempted. I don't know if I'm gonna get it today, but it's definitely on my wish list. I wanted to point these out down here because I don't feel like a lot of people know about these, but my friend Crystal, Crystal K Beauty, I think on YouTube and on TikTok, uh, she discovered these as a really good dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter because uh, they have that glowing look to them. This is the sheer golden. They have a sheer bronze as well. But yeah, they're pretty much identical on the face. I thought that was really cool um, that she kind of discovered that dupe. It's $17.99. So I didn't know they had this. I don't know if this is new, but they started selling Bioderma at this Target. This Target is one of the best in Des Moines. If you guys are in Iowa, it's in the Urbandale area. And they have a lot more brands than some other Targets, but we still don't have the Ulta at Target yet. I don't know if we will get it. But yeah, they have Bioderma here. They have the original Sense of Bio. Really good to know, because I love this stuff. I go through it so quickly. They also have their cleanser. This is a great brand that originated in France. I remember when I was in Paris, I like stocked up on Bioderma stuff, because it was hard to find here, but now it's become more readily available. 
But yeah, definitely recommend their cleansing water. It's always a good thing to use to remove makeup, but they have so much from them. My other favorite French brand is La Roche-Posay. They just make the best skincare in France, I feel like. Um, I've actually been using this cleanser. My skin's been so clear, so I wanted to mention it. This is a definitely good one. It's a medicated gel cleanser. I use this in the evenings, and yeah, my skin has not broken out since I started this one. $14.99, amazing product. I haven't really been going over clothes because I just haven't been into their styles lately, but I wanted to show you guys they restocked these cozy cardigans from Barefoot from Stars Above. I always want to say Barefoot Dreams because they remind me of them, but they've been out of stock for a while and they're a Barefoot Dreams dupe. So I'm picking up the Mauve since I have the Barefoot Dreams in like a cream already. So these are 25 bucks. You can also buy the flare pants, not really my style because that would look ridiculous on me because I'm so short. But definitely grab them in that cozy cardigan. They do have some new tie-dye as well. Um, this kind of yellowy gold and then this really pretty blue. That one's gorgeous, looks almost like clouds. That one is $19.99 for the top. And then I always like to check out the Colsey loungewear in these videos too. They have some adorable lace bralettes here. The purple's pretty. And then these floral tank and short set. I always like these for summertime because they're just so lightweight but also very cozy. So I would totally recommend the Stars Above slippers too. I would size down. Mine were huge, the ones I bought last time, but these are a little bit different where they have a cushion here. So they don't get ruined as quickly as some other ones would, but I really like the hot pink. I have a ton more colors over here too of those slippers. I wanted to share like all of these on the wall. So pretty much any color you could ever want. I still think I like the pink the best. Target does have some cute sandals in too. I thought I would quickly share. These are kind of dupes for the Steve Madden ones that went viral last year, which I think are still very cute. They look pretty much the same. They seem very comfortable too. And then these are also back again. They styled them a little bit different than they had them last year. I think this is a little bit chunkier and it's a little bit lighter in tone. Those are adorable. From A New Day, they have these bow, like soft, sandals too and those same wedges here in the nude these are way cuter than last year's all right guys so i wanted to mention i just went back to target one more time because i was told that today they'd be putting out the pixie hello kitty collection so i've been like stocking my target for this because i'm a huge hello kitty fan and i thought the collection was cute so i was expecting it to be out today but it is online today and the stores have it they just haven't put it out yet so i do have a few items from the collection here that they brought out for me but it's not like out at the display and everything but i still wanted to include it in here because that's why i waited to put this up because i was waiting for that collection um but if you guys are wanting it it is online now you can call your store and see if they have it they're super nice about it too you can even go in and ask somebody and they might just bring it from the back because all of my stores only have like two pieces from each thing that's in the collection so it's not a lot uh, so I did want to let you guys know that I was gonna film it in stores but then yeah they didn't have it out yet but you can still get it so <laughs> wanted to share that but let's get into my haul all right guys let me share what I picked up at Target so as I mentioned earlier, I did pick up that Pixie and Hello Kitty collection. I could not resist. I am a huge Hello Kitty fan. I used to collect a bunch of Hello Kitty stuff. So I thought this collection was pretty adorable for Pixie. I haven't really gotten excited about a Pixie product in a while. So I picked up the IFX Shadow Palette. I think there might be some different ones on the Pixie website that maybe we're not at Target yet. But I think this is an all shimmer palette. Um, I'm not usually big on all shimmer, so we'll see. We'll see how this goes. I definitely want to do like a try on with this stuff. Probably if I do, it'll be up next week or on Instagram. But how cute. It has the little Hello Kitty head with the bow on there. And this is Harmony Hue. So yeah, it's pretty much shimmers. There's even a Hello Kitty head down here. So I love just the little details of everything. I also picked up this Chrome Glow palette. So they do a lot of these kind of palettes when they do their pixie pretty collabs um, that when they collab with different influencers so this is kind of a multi-use palette you could use it for eyeshadow you could use this for highlight or even blush so I went ahead and grabbed this because I don't really have 
um, any of these in my collection at this moment and I love the Hello Kitty packaging. This one doesn't have any like imprints on the inside though but it does have it on the casing so I picked that up. I also grabbed the Hello Glowy Radiance Powder. They did not have the highlight though. I was sad about that but this one is a glowy kind of blush almost. So this is so cute. It has the little Hello Kitty head imprinted on there and I think on the Hello Kitty website they do have a lighter shade that you could use as a highlight but their glow products are always so good. So I had to pick this up. Probably my must have of this collection that is just so beautiful. We'll do, we'll do one little swatch here today just so I could show you how pretty. So I would probably wear this as like a blush or a blush topper because it does run more pink and it's very shimmery. And then I also picked up the Lip Tone. This is pH reactive like lip tint. So I thought I would pick that up. It's probably gonna be super, super pink on me because I feel like all of those pH things, they just go crazy pink on my lips. So it looks like that. And then this is the applicator. It's a little squeezy tube. So yeah, hopefully I can do a video on this collection and have some more in-depth swatches and stuff. I just want to share with you those items I picked up today. So I ended up buying quite a few hygiene items as well. Uh, I picked up some of the new Beloved. I wanted to try out the new strawberry scent. This is strawberry and brown sugar. This is my first time buying from them. And this was definitely my favorite that I've smelled. It is such a good strawberry. Just like pure strawberry, a little bit of sugar in there. But it's not overly sweet like strawberry pound cake or like the, oh man, that strawberry scent from Bath and Body Works was so strong. Um, but I'm excited to try out this. I got the cream and also the whipped body scrub. Really excited to try out their scrub and seeing how that goes. But yeah, I really like this scent and maybe I can even pair it with strawberry pound cake. And then speaking of strawberry, I also picked up the brand new Strawberry Tree Hut Scrub. This one I've only seen at Target so far. And this is so weird because it smells like peach rings. It does not smell like strawberry. Yeah, it's straight up peach ring scent. Even like the sugar dusting, you can smell it. And if you're wanting more of a true strawberry, I feel like the cotton candy scrub from them smells more strawberry, but... Yeah, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure why they call it that because it's so peachy. It should just be peach rings and it would be a perfection. But I love peach, so I'm not mad at it. Um, I'm really happy with that. I would definitely buy backups of it. I also got that Hey Humans body wash that one of my subscribers was talking about. Um, it's the banana and aloe scent. And this one, it really does have such a pure banana smell. It's not super artificial, it's not super sweet. It smells really good and I'm really excited to try this in the shower. So thank you so much for the recommendation. I love literally everything banana. I also picked up this new Pacifica perfume. I thought it was new but it might not be a brand new scent but it's new to me and I think this smells amazing. This is the Silver Moon. Vanilla, almond, and spice are the notes on this one. The only thing I wish is that they had lids on their stuff. They never do for some reason. But this smells so incredibly good. It is so sweet, so sugary, vanilla, and almond, and it's very warm, so the spices come in there, so it's so pretty, though. This is one of my favorite vanilla scents, like, please try this. It's so good, so sweet and delicious. I also picked up the Mix Bar Whipped Almond. Um, I think I like the Pacifica one more, though. This one's good, too, but Pacifica just seems even sweeter and more vanilla-y. Let me open this one. So I was on the hunt for this one for a while. In my last video, I picked up the little fragrance mist, but my stores just put the perfume out. So let's smell this one. Yeah, it's not as sweet as the Pacifica. I like the Pacifica way more. But it's still very pretty. I'm not getting like very strong almond, but it's very just sweet. But it seems a lot lighter than this one. But I would pick that one for sure. But they're both really good. Very nice, sweet kind of bakery scents, but this one's just so, so much more vanilla. And I guess this is the last thing. Um, I got one of those Pacifica fluffy blushies. I could not pass this up. This was so cute. And I picked out the shade Bloom. So I'll do a little swatch of this one too. So it's not really fluffy to me. It's just like creamy. I don't know. Here is the swatch. It actually reminds me a lot of the Pixie highlighter that I just swatched. So that is what it looks like. 
but for some reason it just doesn't feel as like fluffy or whipped as I expected. So I think that's everything I picked up at Target. Um, super excited about all of these awesome finds. Definitely head to your stores and see what they have and let me know if you get any of these items. I'll have them linked down below if you guys want to shop online instead too. But thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.